Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Mech Consult. I'm happy to actually be with you guys today to be able to share this story. It's actually, yeah, it's actually going to be story time today. So this um, incident that I actually experienced could have happened to a lot of people, just like it happened to me. So I was actually on my way home from a photo shoot sometime in January of 2023 this year and um it was late i was tired so friday night yeah one should be thinking of going out but no i chose to go home because i was really tired and um on my way home i encountered a roadblock traffic cops they pulled me over unfortunately and um basically what they would ask first is your driver's license which i presented only to find out that my driver's license has expired December of 2022 and my I think 21 or 20 days that you're normally given to actually get your license renewed has elapsed excuse me so I apologize to the cop but and told me to you know apologize and actually ask for a pardon which he said no he was actually he would have to write me a ticket so I'm like okay then that's fine so he was actually in front of the car writing the ticket and then he requested that I come down. So I came down and um, went over to him and he was like, um, it seems he knows me. I'm like, really? Um, I don't think I know you, sir. And it was like, um, do you have a business in Woodstock? I said, yes. Then he asked again if I do sell a certain product in my store. And I said, yes. Then I'm like, okay um you're all right have we met where have we met and i was like um that's not important then he went over to check my number plate on my car mind you guys because i shoot content and if you have actually checked some of my content you will have seen that i normally take my number plates off actually it was after this incident now that if you check some of my content also now i decide to leave my number plates on so um he was like magnetic plates are illegal because it could fall off the regulation the traffic regulation stipulates that you your number plates must actually be bolted screwed onto your bumpers front and rear so he took both off placed them on the floor and took a picture and i'm like i have never heard of this before it wasn't like i was driving and you saw that i took my number plates off if my number plates were on the dashboard in the vehicle and not on the bumper, yes. But my number plates are on. I don't think there is anything that I've done wrong. He was like, oh, okay. But um, the traffic regulations stipulates that it must be screwed on. So I said, I was going to chat. No, then at that point, I was like apologizing again. Then he told me my car is going to be, um, my license is going to be suspended. That I should get in my disc. Here yeah, in South Africa, we call it a disc so that's actually what you place on your windshield when you're driving shoulder in case you're not in the car and you're parked on the side of the road a traffic cop can actually approach your car you know to actually inspect to make sure you have your um, license your vehicle license is still valid and not expired so um that was when i actually lost it and i took it out i obeyed him took it out handed it over and i told him like i'm actually going to challenge this in court because i don't think it's what he's doing at the moment is right that i and i told him that i think he's actually just um picking me out out of everybody today to just you know make my life miserable to destroy my spoil my day and i was like yeah that's fine but i've got 14 days to actually go for a roadworthy test which is going to be free in those 14 days um and then um, go back to the traffic department when they find out that if my vehicle passes roadworthy test, which simply means that my number plates have been screwed on, then I can actually approach um, the traffic department to actually request for another printout. So I said, okay, thank you very much, but I'm actually going to challenge this. So in those 14 days, I didn't have, I chose not to go to do a roadworthy test because I was doing my own research to confirm if um, this was true. And I went online, searched, and I never found anybody with 
an experience like this, you know, that they actually talked about it, which was interesting, which is actually the reason why I'm making this video, because information is very, very important. So since I couldn't find anything, I said, OK, I, I'm actually going to follow this through. At the end of the day, I've got nothing to lose. Worst case scenario, I'm definitely going to pay the fine at the end of the day. But um, if I can actually share my experience with a lot of people that are out there that actually don't know if it's right or wrong, then, you know, a couple of people can actually learn. So I decided to take the vehicle to a roadworthy test center. I made sure it was a proper roadworthy test center. I actually submitted um, the ticket that I got. with uh, my vehicle papers, you know, they will actually ask for that and my um, identification to confirm that I'm the owner of the vehicle. And then um, they proceed, they proceeded, sorry, to actually do the test. Told me to drive this way, that way, check suspensions, check all my indicators, my full lights, my suspension and everything. And when the guy was done, he told me to drive around to go park. Then I, dro I drove around and I parked the car. So um, he came over to me and was like, why did I bring this vehicle for road road test? Because he sees that the vehicle is not, it's not like I just got the vehicle. It's got numbers. Then I told him like, oh, I actually had um, an experience with a traffic cop. My vehicle got, my vehicle license got suspended. I was like, oh, okay, what happened? Then I told him, I was like, oh, sorry. He has to have a look at the car. And I'm like, okay, fine. Go ahead, sir. It's parked in the parking where he told me to park. So he went to check and um, he checked the number plates. He didn't find anything wrong with it. So I told him to hold up. I took the number plates off. He was like, oh, okay, magnetic number plates. I said, yes, that was why I got a fine. But he was like, he's never heard of this before in his 30-something um, years that he's been working here. So um, I would have to take a seat. He needs to go print out the traffic regulations that has got to do with number plates and check very well before he passes me so i said okay sir so i sat down and um he took his glasses because at the be uh, based on his age if you know someone is 35 if i say he's 35 years old already he didn't start uh, doing roadworthy tests when he was born so he must have been like maybe like 18 or 20 before he started but he's way older than me so he printed everything out sat down and you know he was actually taking his time it took him about 20 30 minutes then he came back to me and was like, do you know this traffic officer? I was like, no, I don't. Then I'm like, why? Then he said, I'm asking because maybe he knows you. I'm like, okay, truth be told, he knows me. And then I told him the previous story I shared with you guys now and about said talking about my shop and um my store getting boggled so i'm like he said yes because there is nothing in the traffic regulation that states now guys hear me that states that your number plates must be screwed on which was what the traffic officer said that day the traffic regulation states that your number plates must be held on properly. Um, guys, you can actually look at the top there. I actually decided to post what it actually says. So you guys should read through and see what it actually says. So um, he was like, Maybe this traffic officer was having a bad day or maybe you said something that pissed him off that made him do that. So I'm like, I oh, know I was actually very, very, you know, respectful. and Which is why we even had the conversation of, oh, it seems he knows me. So he was like, I'm like, sir, can I leave with that paper? He said, yes, it's yours. I'm like, because I have intentions of going to court. It was like, really? I said, yes. He said, yeah, if you go to court, maybe you can actually when i'm like there are a lot of people out there also that don't actually know how this works just like i'm also going to learn through this my process so guys um the court date is actually going to be the 28th of april 2023 which is next month 
about 20 days away so there's definitely going to be a part two of this and um when i get back i'm definitely going to come back and share it with you guys again how it went mind you cameras are not allowed in court so <laughs> i wouldn't be able to share what really happened in court with you guys but i will definitely be back here with proof of how it turned out please like so more people can see this content share also to your friends so they can also follow our channel and help us grow and please if there is any comment that you think can also be helpful before i go to court guys please say something in the comment section it's really going to be appreciated and thanks very much for helping us hit 1000 and we are on our journey now to 2000 please like share and subscribe to our channel we share a lot of content there's a run coming up also on the 7th of april i definitely i'm gonna be there i'm definitely gonna be there i'm gonna make content to share with you guys it's gonna be a run to franchuk pass so i see there are gonna be a lot of cars so it's not just gonna be mercedes like i told you guys this channel is not just about mercedes and it's not just about burning tires burnouts racing or um it's basically about the love for automobiles so i'm going to be interviewing a lot of car owners again showing you guys a lot of cars hopefully if they are born out yeah i'm definitely going to make content of it and show you guys so till the next one peace guys